Hello friends, welcome back once again to Tech Few. This is a series exclusively for the teachers, preachers and the students. I am over here to help you out with new updates that comes for the Zoom as well as for the OBS and at the same time I'll help you out in making professional videos for our online meetings. Today I want to share with you all a new update by Zoom. Now this particular update has it has been about 4 months that Zoom has launched this new update but off late I haven't seen anybody using this beautiful update. But before we jump into the tutorial of knowing what this new update is all about, I want you all to make sure that you have the updated version of Zoom. Okay, now how do we know whether our Zoom is up to date or not? We go to Zoom, we open our Zoom app and what we need to do is that we click on the photo or the profile photo that you find, click over there and as you look at the options available, you will see check for updates. Now when I click check for updates, now see since my Zoom app is up to date, it shows that you are up to date and the latest version as of today, that is the 13th September 2021, the latest version is 5.7.8. So you need to make sure that you have uh, the latest version of Zoom so that you may receive all the new features that Zoom is providing for us. Now let us start a meeting to see what this new feature is all about. And as we start the meeting, the meeting begins. So there you go. Now this is the green screen that is there that you find uh, at the back. Right, I've joined in from my mobile also. That is how you see two devices uh, joined in this particular meeting. The only reason that I have joined from another device is to show how this is going to appear on the mobile. Now the usual way of our showing a presentation, uh, showing a PowerPoint to the people who have joined in in our session, the usual way that we used to do was we would keep the PowerPoint presentation open in the background and then we'll hit the share screen button we select which is the one that we want to show and there uh, as of now i have this powerpoint slideshow open i just click it and there it appears on the screen and the same thing the other person can also observe this is a class that i had taken for uh, one of the Sunday schools and therein the theme was fill the gap the story was about Joseph and these were the three things that I uh, told them or I shared with them uh, GAP that was what it is uh, and this is how I prepared my PowerPoint now this is how we usually do now when we do it in this way if the audience is uh, they are keeping their mobile in landscape mode I'll just show you how it appears in the landscape mode now if by chance they are putting it in the uh, portrait mode I'll show you that too how this appears now there is a new update that has uh, that zoom has provided us with and with this particular new update we can place ourselves in the slide right yes what you heard is absolutely right we can place ourselves in the slide and i'll show you the difference what it makes to the presentation now this particular update that zoom has come up is known as the powerpoint virtual background as you present as you uh, put forward your powerpoint as you put forward your ppts now zoom has helped it to have an immersive sharing experience that is while you are sharing your slides right while you are sharing your slides see the powerpoint it acts as a virtual background for you now when i say this the first thing that you'll ask is that won't we need a green screen if you have a green screen it is well and good but even if you don't have a green screen right this particular feature very beautifully takes out all the other background and places only you in the PowerPoint, in the presentation that you want to show. That is one good feature that we can find and I will just jump into this particular feature, the PowerPoint virtual background. Now one thing that we need to note uh, as we look into this feature is that, I'll just explain it to you. Now as we uh, did it in the earlier time, as we used to share, we hit on the share screen and we usually 
uh, go with the basic that is I select one of the presentations that I need to present from over here but over here I'll click on advanced now when I click on advanced when I click on advanced I have many other uh, options coming up and one of the options as you can very clearly observe over here the first option that comes is PowerPoint as virtual background now one thing that you need to uh, look over here is that see this is a beta version okay now this is a beta version which means this is not the complete plugin that they have provided they are working on it many people are using it many people will be giving in their comments and in the end with all those comments with all those things that we put forward uh, what were the issues they'll fix all the issues and they'll surely come up with the perfect the complete plugin they'll be surely coming up in a month or two but as of now this is a beta version now since this is a beta version there are few things that won't uh, apply uh, those things that you have applied to a PowerPoint it might not take place as you play this that is sounds might not come in transitions might not come in animations that are embedded will not be featured if you have done all that in your PPTs so what exactly is this PowerPoint as virtual background I'll just click on the uh, option PowerPoint as virtual background and I click share now as I click share it asks me which is the PowerPoint presentation that I want to use and I click on the PowerPoint presentation I hit open and there you see it opens up now as it opens up what it will do is there you find over there right there you see me coming over there it has it has made this PowerPoint as my virtual background the PowerPoint which I used to present now it comes as a virtual background now the good thing about this is see most of the people most of our audience right mostly I believe uh, many of them use mobiles now when many of them use mobiles the problem with the share screen that I showed you before and the one good thing about this is that see you are immersed in this view and you are there on the screen now one good thing about this see if I want to change the size right if I want to make myself little more bigger I can make myself little more bigger if I want to place myself over here I can place myself over here if I want to place myself over here I can make myself place over here so wherever I want to I can drag myself and place over there I can uh, I can resize myself right I just need to click on it and I can resize if not I can click on this three dots over here and then I click on resize my video and I just take the arrow and resize it as big as I want now see this is not uh, exactly a PPT that I uh, prepared to present for this particular tutorial this is a PPT that was there I didn't have much time so this is a PPT that has been taken but if now now then from the next time onwards if you're using this feature see you can prepare PPT wherein you can put a solid background right the color that you like and you can put up the points that you need to appear on the either sides so you'll be sitting over here in the center and the points will come and you just need to just click on this arrow right you just need to click on this arrow and it will change the slide as and when you need to speak as and when you need to change things uh, you just need to click on the slide and it changes and see this looks much better right this looks much better than you being placed in a small window if people are watching uh, on on a mobile if they are watching it in a, in a laptop they have the speaker view and when you share a screen half of it is the speaker view half of it is the PowerPoint that is there but with regard to mobile it is not uh, as we see it in the laptop and see I'll show you the landscape and the uh, portrait mode that is there in the mobile the difference that you find
is much more effective if it is possible for you to use it and you just click stop share and there it is you exit from sharing the presentations this is a new update that zoom has come up with a new plugin that zoom has given in if this video if this video has helped you to understand the new feature and you look forward to knowing more of such features on zoom as well as on obs don't forget my dear friends to subscribe my channel and support me by liking this video if you need anything else if you want something more to be explained put it down write it down in the comment box and i'll help you out with that i'll come out with a video with that and to be notified about all the videos that i put in don't forget to click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about all the videos that i put in stay tuned will be back with more such videos which will help you in your presentations being much more better till we meet next time stay safe and god bless you